It's May 24th. It's 2023. Um, I'm looking in all sorts of places for wisdom. Things that the business office, I suppose, for lack of a better term, um, put out there um, after this horrible, horrible beginning. Um, I mean, the beginning was okay, I suppose. It's just entering into... Um, a season and being able to have the same bloodline and have the choice within the same bloodline was withheld and it looks like nefarious games were played and now I think in somebody's culture there's this thing amongst the ancient wisdoms of they put forth these gifts and then there's this the the reap and the sow and the unbreakable vows and so on and so forth and i'm looking at city management and i'm thinking even in my own journey like they started off what seemed like so genuine and so true and then they pushed my father into some business relationship with an immoral that calls itself lord and then now, thank God, he's walking with David again. But I don't know who's behind all of these horrible events and to push what possible. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm seeing where the actual choices that they made then that I was too young to even recognize and it was kept out of my ability to even know. I don't even know if my father's consciously aware of what the humans have done in this area because they do it in this way of like they withhold almost like a tsunami. It's like if there's like a wealth and an RH, po uh, RH negative pool that we were all swimming in together. And then all of a sudden they withdraw all their support for I don't even know what reason. And then they push forward this immoral dark lord. I mean, and all of these horrible events take forth. I'm looking at the symbolic, like the Queen's library. I'm in New York. Only Queen I've ever heard of here was Elizabeth. So then I'm looking at the Q itself. And it no longer looks like the standard circle. It now looks very square. And I'm like, now, if I look at it from across on a circle with an X and then the diamond, the square, the two triangle system, I mean, like, these are all systems. And I'm like, now it's in a square looking system. Now, this is like another, what is this, a stage or a phase um, in the, you broke some serious stuff with the G-O-D? Like, where is my G-O-P at gubernatorial? Because, I mean, it would have been easier to have fixed the problems before two RH positives arrived and some forcing a hand of a dark immoral lord. And really that's the name. Just like yesterday, the chart on the wall said they were deemed animals in the public school system, the children in the school. That was to distinguish them from the masonite walls and building that's concrete. And then there's the living biology in the building. They call them animals. Just the word that they use whomever they are. And so now that's the name of the figure that they forced into some business relationship at worldwide corporate network for Lewis. 
Not that I, I didn't choose him, neither did Lewis. It was one of these forced events after the RH negative that I needed to be with for life just suddenly like disappeared. So I'm watching Harry Potter um, and they're talking about this breaking of an unbreakable vow and I'm looking for words of wisdom as to how the higher ups in the business office may have preface this amongst themselves in like, do they even know the details of the true life story that follows something for inner city, whatever at this point, since I was not able to get to a relationship that even resembles what's required in order to even enforce an unbreakable vow. I'm just curious. So here's what Harry Potter put out there. And this is called Half-Blood Prince in 2009. Voldemort has chosen Draco and Malfoy for a mission. I know it sounds bad. Has it occurred to you, Harry, that Snape was simply pretending to offer Draco help so he could find out what he was up to? That's not what it sounded like. Perhaps Harry's right, Remus. I mean, to make an unbreakable vow... It comes down to whether or not you trust Dumbledore's judgment. Dumbledore trusts Snape, therefore I do. Dumbledore can make mistakes, he said to You're himself. blinded by hatred. I'm not. Yes, you are. People are disappearing, Harry, daily. We could only place our trust in a handful of people. If we start fighting amongst ourselves, we're doomed. People are disappearing. They've been disappearing for quite some time. I have no idea where RH negative even exists in New York at this point. Really, I don't. I think that I find it at the Red Cross on Sundays. But where it exists in the system, other than that, I'm not really clear. Um, I was reading The Shadow Project to try to gain some kind of verbal construct of how some of the management systems within this American system have existed prior to my arrival. Um, this is dated around 2010 that this came out. Um, in this new, in this Queens library around here this month, they suggested some crazy rich Asians. Now, um, in the Red Cross, there's the Joshua Tree. Um, it looks like Crazy Rich Asians have a clan system. Um, in there, it has a T.O. And I'm like, for the young. I'm like, wow, that's really interesting. Um, and even more interesting was my particular Mayan calendar baby, the 2012 one. Um, who, again, is, while well, Lewis was forced into this worldwide corporate network position with the immoral Lord. Um, there is my, just so David's records are updated properly. Uh, Tia Frio wound up arriving in some, at some blacksmith meeting spot, which of course I'm brought into by Frank, another problem off of match.com off of this internet, which seems to be matching me with all the wrong sort. And then he winds up staying and moving in and won't leave me alone. And so now that's the second marriage certificate or the second toilet paper on my shoe. I can't seem to get off. So now there's... Um, I'm in the park with my child because the only person I have an unbreakable vow to are four men that I created in my womb that I brought into this world and the rest of the humans. So my 2012, um, I'm in the park with him and there's this bag that somebody places next to his book bag. 
and I'm just doing my whatever and I'm reading my book. Um, and then, or I think that day I might've been walking and then all of a sudden I see it, this, it says happy birthday on it down, like in the middle, like somebody, like I thought maybe it had blown off the wind had carried it, but I didn't touch it cause it doesn't belong to me. Um, and there were parents around, so I figured it must have belonged to one of their children. And then it was moved, I walked around again, and then it was moved next to my son's backpack. And my son was like, is this mine? He says, it says Tio on it. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, what's in it? And he says, it says happy birthday. I'll go, but it's not your birthday. And so he looked inside, and there was nothing in it. And then there was somebody who walked by and he's like, oh, sorry, sorry. He says, that's mine. And I said, oh, okay, that's fine. I said, it just, it had my son's name on it. So I just, I wasn't sure. Um, so there's that. Just because I see a lot of intermingling with the D-I-O and the G-O-D. And I'm like, now... Again, this introduces now a third, like on Marvel movies, they have Hong Kong. Then that changed when I needed a national secure rep. They sent me in the physicality, not in the digital world, but in the analog world, they sent me somebody from Beijing. And now I'm all of a sudden there's a Singapore reference. So, and I'm noticing things are now more D-I-O with some Singapore. And I'm like, what's that about? Because again, with clans and gangs and all sorts of management woes. Yesterday, um, one of the women I was she got approached by somebody who works for this New York post. I didn't know who this woman was. I probably wouldn't be able to recognize her again. Um, but she was asking about the changeover between the single males into the families in the area. And Vicky answered her. However, she answered her. Um, and I'm, I then took Vicky aside and I said, do me a favor. I said, who was that? She said, that was the New York Post. And I said, so how did you answer that question? So she told me how she answered the question. And I'm like, right. I was like, I, I get that single males bring one element into a problematic situation. I was like, but they can be controlled in a, a very specific way. I was like, now... We're, they're introducing families. Now there's children. Now it's a completely sh different shift and dynamic. And she's like, N no, I know. And like, sh I, I don't think she was prepared for having a conversation with me um, about this. And I'm like, because I said, just so you're aware, I'm having some issues internally with some signs some gang related possibility like issues and i'm looking for signs of intelligence that are being thrown out there in such a confusing manner and it's my kid who is the one who's being addressed in these like mystical ways i was like so i was like i just wanted to know what your response was because I'm having a hard time figuring out who they're listening to and what the human perspective is that doesn't have like real serious trauma and relatable facts. I mean, like there's just some informalities and some casualties in the field and I'm trying to limit liabilities as much as possible with clean lines of communication, but it's getting really difficult to figure out where these curses that somebody's trying to turn into a blessing for the wrong sort. I went to this American New York historical society. They refer to me as Dutch. I have Dutch 
heritage and Dutch history, according to the New York Historical Society. I call it English, but only because it's the language. When I arrived, they did not uh, teach us Dutch. I wish they did. I wish I had a dual lingual system between Dutch and English, but it was not something that they were teaching at the time. Would have been really, really key, I would think. But instead, some other agenda was being pushed. Some other investment or sponsor of I don't know what was going on outside of my purview and still seems to be plaguing the system inside of New York at this point. I don't know how else to address it or how else to handle it. But I have some real serious signs that I've been given. And I have some real serious concerns about the now and the future because I don't know what they're prepping for. I really, I don't. I see a complete changeover. It's like, it's like competing forces between Asia and Africa. And I'm like, I arrived on a European vision. Like I, like the money placement on the green linen that everybody worships here as the God Almighty has my ancestral ties to it. So there's this sense of responsibility on one hand, but to only a certain point and degree considering that it feels like competing Asian and African markets now calling on some Latin market. And I'm like, even that Latin word, I mean, more of like a Hispanic market. And I'm like, there's some real serious, like serious national security concerns I have. And like, I don't really know where addressing it appropriately even is at this point. They say that this is the flag, um, the unity flag, I suppose, of where we are here. Um, but I'm real unclear as to what these almost name brands are trying to do I know there needs to be sponsorship for money, for leadership, for developing a future, but I don't have any clear communication on what the vision is and what the internal fight is over when the monetary and the current system currency is very clearly the exact same as it was when I arrived except I see a lot of other groups benefiting, prospering, and elevating themselves. While I have, throughout the years, it's gotten deteriorative or degenerative and worse. And this is still the system. Now, I saw this reference um, handed to a Marvel superhero inside of, I think it was the Avengers, um, Captain America handed a $10 bill to Nick Fury with his one eye patch. I'm not quite sure what that's symbolic of, but it seems quite important for this conversation. Now here, it's on FX. The other movie was on Bravo. And here's Captain America handing him the $10 bill. And again, does that mean like we're already squared away at Captain America? Like, I don't owe you anything, Nick Fury. Like, and again, I already have not one, but two problems within my very real lifetime of gardening and seeding should have been very RH negative compatible. So there's hygienic standards. So my safety wasn't question. It wasn't like pulled offline. And then my whatever questioned ever, but instead it happened some other way. And now it's just like at unbreakable vows, 
it seems really key and imperative that they would have gotten my part right if they were going to hold each other to some standard that doesn't exist because they never got the beginning correct. And it is a $10 bill. I have no idea what that means in the big wide world of unbreakable vows. I'm not clear at this point. I don't know. Um, it's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Caterosa. It's Earth, solar system, Milky Way universe. Galaxy is broken. And it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361.